and welcome to Active Trades Biggest Market Movers. Today I'll be looking at the New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. I'll be discussing the upcoming events affecting this currency pair and I'll also be identifying the key technical levels that you need to know going forward. So we've seen the New Zealand dollar holding strong after better than expected trade data whilst we've seen the likes of the euro and the British pound slip back on better than expected US consumer confidence. Later today we have the release of the Federal Reserve interest rate decision and policy statement and that will likely set the trading bias for this currency pair for the rest of the week. Looking at the key technical levels going forward, I think the most important level to look at is the 200 week moving average. We closed above there last week and that's calculated at 0.7421. We had a bullish weekly close above there last week. We've slipped underneath there briefly, but we're back trading above that level. So if we have two consecutive weekly closes above that level, I think that may indicate that there's some further upside for this currency pair. If we have a look to the key levels to the upside, look to that previous high, that was set back around uh, the late part of 2016, around the 74.92 area. If we start to take that out, then we can start to head towards the 50% Fibonacci retracement of that 88 high to that really low point uh, that was set in 2015 around the 62 region and that's set at 75.23 so that's a big level for the New Zealand dollar and we could that could be a level that the currency pair is gravitating towards. If we have a look to the downside we've tested the weekly pivot point around the 73.91 area this week we've managed to bounce back off it but if we do slip back beneath that pivot point we start closing under there then we could head back uh, towards the sub uh, 73 levels and we could start to test the monthly pivot around the 72.48 but we'll see what happens uh, below the pivot point it could be a chance for more traders to, to, to buy into this uptrend and possibly around the 73 50 area we may see traders step in to start to buy this currency up again thank you very much this has been active trades biggest market movers and you can trade the new zealand dollar against the u.s dollar at active trades for spreads as low as one pip